Welcome to View Mastery's very first course, Intro to View. Throughout these videos, Adam will be teaching you the fundamentals of View and building a product app together. Yeah, we know you want to learn how to build real practical applications, so that's exactly what we'll do. We'll give you visual explanations so you won't be staring at just a code editor. And our content is in both video and written article format for easy reference. At the end of each video, we'll give you a challenge so you can learn by doing in our code playground. We know your time is valuable, so that's why our videos are quick and easy. We're excited to be your guides on the journey to view mastery. This course assumes a basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We'll be covering everything you need to know to start building apps in Vue or to add Vue to an existing project. Now, before we dive into code, let's take a look at the project we'll be building. As you can see, it is a product page. We're going to introduce new Vue concepts and add features as we go. Up here, you can see that we have in stock, and below, we have an add to cart button. Now, when I hover over these colors, not only does the image change, but this out of stock and in stock is changing, and that is disabling and enabling the button. We also have a cart here, which we can add to, and we'll be developing some other features, such as tabs, and we'll work with forms to add reviews. So it'll be a pretty comprehensive application. I also wanted to show you the View Dev Tools. This is a really handy tool. It's not only gonna show you the structure of your application, but you can also dive in and see the data, the props, all sorts of useful information about what is happening with your application and with your individual components. You'll learn all about this. So please have this installed. I'm using Chrome, and if you are using Chrome and you're also running local files, make sure to have this clicked, allow access to file URLs. This will make sure that Vue activates on your project. All right, now that we have everything we need, let's start coding. Here's a code that we're starting off with. We've got an HTML file, and that is linked with a script tag down to our main.js. In our JavaScript, we have a variable called product whose value is socks. Now, we have a common problem in front-end development. We want to get this data into our HTML. Fortunately, Vue has a very simple way to do that. First, we'll go to vuejs.org and we'll look at the introduction page. We're gonna take this script here, copy it over and paste it, and this will install Vue. That's as simple as it gets. All right, we're gonna change out our variable here and change it to app and make a new Vue instance. We're gonna pass in some information. So here we're putting an element property. We're going to say app, so this is going to connect to the div up here with the ID of app. So now our view instance is plugged into that div. We're also going to give it some data. In this case, we're moving that variable product equals socks. Now it's becoming our data. If we refresh, we have the same information. That's because we haven't told that data where to go. So as you can see, product goes here. So let's switch that out for product. And when we do that, that will pull in the actual product from our view instances data. We refresh again, and Socks is appearing. Awesome, it worked. Now let's explore a little deeper how this is actually working. In our JavaScript, we say new view. This creates a new view instance, which is the root of a view application. You can think of it like a heart that powers everything. It's created by passing an options object into it, which has a variety of optional properties which are used to store data and perform actions. In order to form a relationship between the view instance and part of the DOM, we use the property L. Here we are specifying that we'd like to plug our instance into the div with the ID of app. Now this div and the content within it is hooked up to our instance. The instance can also have a property for data. Here we're giving our instance a product whose value is socks. In order to display socks, we're using these double curly braces up here. You can think of them somewhat like a phone, which has a direct line into another phone in the view instance. So when we reference product up here, it's as if we're asking our cell phone below, what's the value of product? And the phone says, socks, and socks appears on the web page. This double curly brace syntax is called an expression. You may already be familiar with them. They're used to produce or evaluate a value. You can use them to add a character or number to your data, to combine values, to perform conditional logic with a ternary operator, to run methods on your data, along with a lot of other use cases. If we were to change socks to boots, our expression would receive the updated value product and the h1 would update accordingly. But why? 
Well, view is reactive. In other words, the instance's data is linked to every place that data is being referenced. So if we are referencing product in multiple elements, both elements would update to display product's new value. Anywhere that relies on our instance's data will update when that data changes. Let's open the console and show this reactivity happening live. So here I am back in my application and I'm gonna open the console and I'm gonna type in app, again, that's the name of our view instance, then product, which is the name of our data, and I'm gonna give it a new value, coat in this case. Now socks changes to coat. If I change coat to say compass, coat will change to compass. So there it is, our H1 is immediately updating with that new data value because of the reactivity system. All right, let's review. So the view instance is the heart of the application. It plugs in to an element in the DOM, and that element can use an expression to display that instance's data. Time for a challenge. Add a description to your data object, then use an expression to display the description beneath the H1. You can find a link to the code playground below. As your learning view, you'll want to have all the essential syntax at your fingertips. We've created a cheat sheet for you to make your learning journey that much easier. You can find it free at viewmastery.com.